We went over the match, we locked up, and he goes, what are we doing, what are we doing, what are we doing? I thought, because I heard Kurt was a river, like, you know, like, joke yes, with you. Yes, he was. So I go, come on, Kurt, man, what? I'm like, what are we doing? He goes, no, man, what are we doing, what are we doing? He blanked out and forgot the whole match. I'm a legitimate single superstar. I go, you guys are a tag team. And Vince looks at it as another match in the card. I go, the, the singles main event guys are, are what's being featured. I go, you guys are basically tag team guys are garnish. Boy, Set of I, balls on you to say that. You're a product of, of a time when wrestlers looked a certain way, period. He walks in, he can work. Do you think it has legs? I did into the time uh, when guys didn't look, I thought, physically up, up to the part. I, was, I had an old school philosophy at that time. Now I love what, really, those guys coming in then and getting over and mixing in with the, all the big, tall, gigantic, ginormous, or built guys. I think it diversified wrestling. Now we got everybody from Rey Mysterio to Big Show. It's, firstly, can Dink the Midget Clown get rats? Let's just put it right out there. We had old, we had, uh, we were in the Bible Belt, and the good guys were good guys, and the bad guys were bad guys, and it was, they, they went along with all our stuff. When I got up the Northeast, you'd be a good guy, they, they could boo you out of the building, you'd be a bad guy, and they could be cheering. But it's a tough way to have a match. Clothes lines, power slams, stay on your feet a lot. Don't try to be a high flyer or a drop kicker. He goes, you're athletic, you have a pro football background. He goes, don't. Do it. Let, the, let those guys who do it best do it. He goes, I want you to be, show your body. He goes, do you have something unique that other guys and most other guys wrestling will never have? He goes, accentuate that. Always know that your body's your ticket. So I really took it to the maximum. So I never worked that hard. I'm being a good worker. <laughs> but all kidding but aside. the body looked great. Yeah, I man, I took care of that. And it worked. Sure. Well, I was going to sign a one-year WBF contract. Instead of, so instead of finishing my last year, with WCW, I would, I would sign an agreement, and since I thought they were in the cost-cutting mode, I was one of their biggest contracts, so I'll give you that one-year contract. Mm. Just let me do things outside of wrestling, I won't wrestle. So they were, they were, they were cool with it, mm -hmm. which gave me the opening for Vince to sign me as a bodybuilder, not as a wrestler. I never felt any pressure from a promoter to take performance enhancing drugs. That was a personal decision I would make at, at the home, home in my own time. Now, see, me, me, I was always so confident back in the day, in my wrestling prime, that I, I never looked at a, a payoff. I, I thought that was being, you know, kind of being a penny, a penny, a penny counter. Mm -hmm. I wanted to look at the big picture of your career and the direction it was going, and if you were making the right steps, that the, if, if you were successful, the money would come. The comments office said, we're going to turn you baby face and uh, all-American, all and then we're doing the and the intrepid, and I, I, I thought he was crazy. I was sitting there with my jaw, I goes, it'll work, watch. I go, I'm gonna go from being a narcissist in front of mirrors to being, being Yankee Doodle Dandy on July 4th, he goes, oh yeah. Are you was, living on the bus this whole time? I am, we stop at a hotel at night. I didn't sleep on the bus. Right. But we'd be, we'd be well, I, I take that back, sometimes we drive to the next city, and, uh, and uh, I would sleep on the bus, so yeah. I had very strong convictions of, of what Lex Luger was already at that point, kind of my own stereotype. So that, that was breaking stereotypes for me, of being like a red, white, and blue good guy. I was, at the time, not realizing, I was building that wall, a, do, a double life. So I was like Lex Luger on the road, and I started becoming a partier and doing drugs and doing stuff. And so I was building a double wall. So I was like, oh, what do you mean you want my family on camera? So yeah, I was a bit, really?